Hi everyone, I'm happy to inform you that a CX Emulator 2.2 has been released and I would like to tell you about its latest features. If you are not familiar with a CXML editor, I will quickly explain that this instrument is used for managing a CXML state charts and it's better for you to watch my previous videos because in this video I will explain only new features. I will start from structure view. It was completely refactored and now it is not only structure view of document but also a quick focus search. There is a text edit field now and you may type here any search information. Uh, it will be filtered and you may quickly navigate to the elements. Uh, you may quickly access to the element in property inspector. If you need reordering, for example, for a transition, you also may uh, change its reordering by simply drag and drop to another transition. Structure view also support uh, changing uh, child order in non-visual elements. Just simply drag and drop and it will change appearance on the chart. There are also some useful new UI buttons like select uh, back, select forward, undo or redo operations and bookmarks are now on the this new toolbar panel. These tool buttons helps you to navigate state chart, especially if you need to go back to the previous selected position or to go to the fixed position. There are a lot of static checks now before you will save a document. As you see, editor informs you that data model is not a valid child of an entry element. In this case, editor informs you that there is a possible circular deadlock and you will always flow from state to state. There are a lot of enhancements in autocomplete. ECMAScript now has static uh, syntax check. And this is useful to check previously without starting all state chart to understand where is just simple syntax problem. Autocomplete was improved and you may get next features. You may access to data model variables that were declared in state chart. So you just type the name of such variable. Uh, no need to go to state chart, copy its uh, name. Just start typing and you will get it in uh, code editor directly. Uh, the next cool feature is that you can access in predicate states also in autocomplete so no need to go to chart you just uh, type in uh, and quote start quote and you will get the name of all states on the chart so also no need go to the chart copy paste uh, paste here just type and you will get it in one place very quickly, very useful. Another cool feature that I like very much in this release is automatic creation of delayed transition. So you create transition, call a day inside, type delayed, uh, give name. Uh, set a delay in seconds or uh, milliseconds. Okay, now we will create back delay transition. Change uh, type of transition to square type. Okay, again, no need to type delay because it's remember. Uh, give another name. Okay, and let's test our state. As you see, it flows from state to state without a delay. Another new feature is an option to communicate with testing applications with pipes. Previously, we had uh, two testing applications based on QTSCXML and USCXML. And they were communicating with uh, HTTP or UDP. But now we have an option to connect to 
command line tools by intercepting their output. So you may create your own preset, fulfill a type of protocol, and uh, you may write regular expressions that will capture enter or exit events. So now you are able to check your state chart with other platforms to convince that it works with the same behavior. Now I'm checking with USC XML. Okay. And now I will change our testing applications to Cyan to check how it will work on Node JC. Okay. So it is useful to check whether the behavior is the same because sometimes there are some issues. For example, uh, there are some SCXML bugs of Qt or USCXML. So you may compare how your state chart will work on other systems. And final feature that I would like to tell you about in this release. It is an option to export SCXML to SVG. The reason you tap you may press and you will immediately see SVG source code. If you would like to save it as SVG image, you may either use exported SVG in IDA Insight uh, panel or you may type export as image. You will see image preview and you may copy to clipboard or, or save as file to your local disk. And the most cool feature that this SVG is not simple SVG. You may use it in Qt application. You just need to uh, include two headers, header only, and you will be able to use monitor of your state chart in every Qt program. And this monitor is applied with really few lines of code, just these three lines of code and you may deploy your application, uh, start your state chart and whenever you need you just activate your monitor and see how your state chart is flowing from state to state. Okay, And even for nested invocable state chart you also may apply monitors and to see what's happening with your state chart where is your current state and what's going on. It's very useful when you debug difficult state charts and you do not need any external devices. Just press one menu button and see what's happening in your state chart. Okay, so I hope that you will like this release. There were so many hard work during last year and I hope that it will help you to make your stage charts more quickly and you will enjoy by using this instrument. Thank you for watching.